Hey guys, DJ Correct here. So I'm in my room slash studio and today I'm gonna show you my bag, all the equipment that goes in and everything that I need when I go to my gigs. Let's dive in. Alright, so the first thing is to choose what kind of bag I'm gonna use. I used to use backpacks back in the days, but they became very heavy and painful, so now I use a trolley. I use uh, this UDJ, it fits everything, sleeves and pockets for every tool that I need to take to my gigs, my mixer fits on it perfectly, as I'm gonna show you after. And uh, one cool thing also is it actually fits on the carry-on of the airplane, so even if I'm just traveling or if I'm going to a gig, I can just use that bag for clothes or equipment. So the first thing I'm gonna pack is my mixer. I've been using the Rain 72 for the last years. This is my mixer to go. This is uh, one of my favorite mixers I ever own in my DJ career. And the reason I take it to gigs is because it's very easy for me to connect it to Serato and with turntables, but it's also easy to connect with CDJs. It has two USB sockets, and then I just connect CDJs directly to it and uh, work as a MIDI with the Serato. It's very practical, it has every function that I need, and one good bonus is the sound quality. The sound quality in clubs is just amazing. The second thing I always pack is my laptop. As you can see, it has a special sleeve here on my bag to put it in. It goes always protected, doesn't get scratched, and I know I can take it everywhere and always feel safe with it. And then comes my records, my time code records for Serato. Normally I take four of them just in case to have a replacement if something goes bad. I'm not very picky on colors, but I like to have the clear ones with me. But sometimes I can take some greens or some pink just to have a little bit of the flair in the booth and just to match the colors in the venue I'm playing. All right, so now I'm packing my face in my needles. I recently bought face and if you want to know more about it, just check the link here because I made a video unboxing and my first impression on it. I have the needles just as a backup plan because you never know if phase runs out of battery or something happens. It's my first uh, couple of gigs with it, so I'm still gaining some confidence using this new hardware. But I always have needles with myself since I started DJing, so I'll just keep bringing just in case if I really need it. So now I start packing all my cables. I normally take uh, four to five USB cables with me. I only need two, but in case I'm using CDJs, I'm gonna need two extra. And obviously I don't need the one for phase if I'm using CDJs. I like always to have a couple extra just in case. You never know when the cable is broken. I also take some RCAs and sometimes even some XLR cables with me. And in the venue that I'm going, I'll just pack some of these just in case to have backup and the ones that I'm really needed to use it. So last but not least, the DJ headphones. I always pack them, make sure they are there. I always take a quick look if I have everything. And then I always bring also a towel with me because you have to keep your hands dry. You have to keep your face dry. It's a little bit nasty, all those DJs sweating the shit out of them. So yes, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to drop some comments, leave your opinions, leave your ideas. Tell me what you guys use, what you guys don't use, what you take or don't take to gigs. And I hope I see you guys soon for the next video. Peace out.